there was a guy who was the casting director on this film. His name was Bob Wiener. And he wasn't a casting director. He was a critic for a paper called The Village Voice. And he knew every actor in New York and in most of the other towns you could think of. And we, had, we spoke in a kind of shorthand. I didn't look at any cast lists or anything, but we had both seen a lot of films. Mm -hmm. And there was a film called Belle de Jour. You ever heard of that film? Yeah. A French film by Louis Bunuel. And I said to Wiener, let's get that French guy that was in Belle de Jour. You know, not the guy who had the wooden teeth, I, but the guy who had this sort of a thick beard. Yeah. And uh, let's get him. I, I didn't know what his name was. And so then I had a call from Mr. Wiener who said, OK, well, that guy's name is uh, Fernando Ray. And uh, he's available, and we can get him. I said, all right, make his deal and sign him. And then I went out to Kennedy Airport to meet Fernando Ray when he was coming in. And I'm looking around at his flight, and I didn't see anyone who looked familiar to me. And I finally uh, got paged, and it was Fernando Ray. And I went up to the desk, and uh, it was the wrong guy. He was, he was not the actor that I had in mind at all. <laughs> and he had this little goatee. And he looked very elegant. And the Jahan, the character he was playing, was like a, a Corsican thug. He was a street guy. And I'm now driving this guy to his hotel. <laughs> and I don't know what to say to him. And I said, you, you weren't in uh, Belle de Jour. He said, no, no, no. I, I've been in many Bunuel films, but not that one. And he said, you know how Bunuel discovered me? I said, no. He said, well, he had come to see another actor for, <laughs> for a role in a movie, and I was playing the corpse in that movie. And Bunuel said, he was asked by the casting director, what do you think of the actor? And he said, Oh, I didn't like him at all, but the guy who played the corpse would be great. So that's how he, but he wasn't in Belle de Jour. So then I said to him, well, uh, you know, you have to shave this goatee. Because, he said, oh, I could never shave my goatee. You don't want to see, my face is all pockmarked. He said, this, this little goatee is there to hide it. Right. And he said, by the way, I don't speak any French either, you know. <laughs> he said, I'm, I'm Spanish, and uh, I, I've always faked it when I made a film in France. <laughs> by this time, I got him to his hotel, and I dropped him off, and I got to the nearest payphone, and I called Bob Wiener, and I said, you idiot, you absolute, you're an imbecile. You're, he said, what happened? I said, this isn't the guy. You've cast the wrong guy. He said, well, what are you talking about? I said, this guy isn't the guy in Belle du Jour. So now I'm driving to the office. By the time I get there, he tells me, you're right. The guy you wanted was named Francisco Rabal. <laughs> he said, I checked on him. He's not available, number one. Number two, he's also Spanish and doesn't speak a word of English. So that's how Francis, uh, Fernando Rey got into the French connection. 